Hello everyone, welcome to Kaviation Engineering YouTube channel. Alright, so this is uh, after long break, uh, I will take another lesson. This is uh, lesson number uh, 7, System Control and Indication un under AD Chapter 22, Autopilot. Alright, so uh, 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 if you still not watch the previous videos regarding AD Chapter 22, Autopilot, you can watch uh, through my playlist. Uh, so it will be useful for your knowledge and then uh, it's better to watch this video because they have uh, so many uh, videos uh, before this video uh, and also if you still not subscribe Kvation Engineering channel uh, please subscribe and share these videos with your friends relatives and anyone who like to learn about aircraft maintenance engineering uh, all right so uh, now we will go to the lesson AD chapter 22 auto flight system this is lesson number seven so today uh, i'm going to discuss about uh, system control and indicating all right okay so this uh, the purpose of this lesson uh, is the purpose of this lesson is to identify and locate auto flight system control and indications all right okay so now let's go to the uh, lesson content okay number one i'm going to discuss about uh, fcu flight control unit and next one mcdu and the nds navigation displays and then the pfd primary flight displays and next uh, the thrust river thrust levers and then the side stakes and the rudder pedals and uh, resets and the rmps right uh, radio management panels and uh, ewd sds mean engine warning display or system display and, uh, and finally attention getters all right Okay, so let's uh, go to the first one, FCU, Flight Control Unit. Okay, uh, Flight Control Unit, you can see the Flight Control Unit. Okay, uh, here the F is uh, Flight Control Panel and this is the Auto Flight System Control Panel over there. And this is F is uh, Electronic Flight Instrument System Control Panel. So all panel we call it as Flight Control Unit. Alright, see the Flight Control Unit is installed on the glare shield. Okay, this is the glare shield. So the Flight Control Unit is installed on the glare shield so the flight control unit it means fcu front phase includes an auto flight system control panel between two electronic flight instrument systems control which means auto flight control system is uh, situated between fs uh, two control panels all right okay uh, here you can see the auto flight system control panel over there right uh, here autopilot one autopilot two right auto thrust right see the localizer okay all right uh all right so x uh, this one is optionally removed okay uh right so the uh, auto flight system control panel allows displays the engagement of the autopilots and auto thrust and the selection of guidance modes and flight parameters right okay and also uh the two fs control panels right these are the fs control panel you can see uh ils uh, vor navigation this is the ROS mode arc mode and plan mode okay so this is the adf vor right uh you can see here uh flight director ils all right so the two fs control panels control and display for each fs side right captain captain and first of this side for the captain and this side for the first officer the primary flight display and the navigation display function respectively barrow and flight director conditions and navigation display modes all right okay now let's go to number two mcdus multi-purpose control display unit okay you can see the mcdu there are uh, two mcdus over there right here the mcdu uh, actually this uh, this uh, instruments we are using especially for the bike test in uh, airbus aircraft okay all right so the multi-purpose control and display units are located on the center pedestal okay here is the center pedestal all right so the multi-purpose control and display unit mcdu is the primary entry display interface between the pilot and the flight management part of the flight management guidance computer all right okay so uh, the mcdu allows right mcdu allows uh, system control parameters and flight plans to be inserted and is used for subsequent modifications and revisions right 
and the MCDU display information regarding flight progress and aircraft performance for monitoring and review by the flight crew. All right, so now let's go to the uh, navigation displays. Okay, here is the navigation display, right? So here you can see uh, navigation display over there. This is the primary flight display. All right, so now we are going to talk about navigation display. All right, the two navigation displays are located on the main instruments panel, one for the first officer and one for the captain. All right, uh, the navigation display is built from, right, navigation displays from uh, flight plan date and the uh, date, uh, data selected via the flight control unit and the aircraft present position. All right, and the last one, wind speed or direction, right, the navigation display is built from flight plan date data selected via the flight control unit, aircraft presence position and wind speed or directions. All right. And sorry, and also the ground speed track, ground speed track. All right. Okay. So now the PFD, primary flight, uh, primary flight display. All right. Here the primary flight display over there. You can see uh, in primary flight display. Uh, okay. You can see the close view. So the two primary flight displays are located on the main instrument panel, right? Same uh, for Captain 1 and for First Officer 1. And the flight mode annunciator, right? Flight mode annunciator is the top part of the primary flight display, okay? Primary flight display top part is flight mode annunciator, right? Okay? All right. Uh, and the each uh, primary flight display, each primary flight displays, uh, autopilot, flight director, auto thrust engagement status on the flight management, uh, sorry, flight mode annunciator, right? Here you can see uh, the autopilot, uh, flight director, and also auto thrust engagement status on the flight mode annunciator. And the autopilot and uh, flight director and auto thrust arm engage modes on the flight mode annunciator, okay? And the flight director orders, all right? Okay, and also the fact uh, characteristics speeds on the speed scale right okay and now go to the uh, number five thrust levers thrust levers right you can see the thrust lever this is diagram and this is the actual wave right thrust levers here you have a auto thrust instinctive disconnection push button over there right okay so the thrust levers are located on the center pedestal remember thrust levers also located on the center pedestal and the thrust levers allow the takeoff go around Okay, TOGA modes and the auto thrust to be engaged, right? And also the th auto thrust instinctive disconnect push buttons located on the thrust levers allow the auto thrust functions to be disengaged. This is the uh, auto thrust instinctive disconnection push button, all right? Okay, so now the side stick. Here is the side stick. Okay, here the take off priority push button. So the captain and the first officer side sticks are respectively located on the captain lateral panel and the first officer lateral panel all right and the autopilot is disengaged when the take off priority push button on the side stick is pressed or when a force above a certain threshold is applied to the side sticks all right now the rudder pedals here is the rudder pedals okay so the rudder pedals are fitted in the captain and first officer position right and the rudder pedals override disconnects the autopilot rudder pedals also override the disconnect the autopilot right okay now the resets resets we normally do the resets through the circuit breaker panels right okay you can see this is a one-to-one -one vu circuit breaker panel okay all right so uh the flight management guidance computer and fac and the fcu and the mcdu resets are possible in the cockpit so the depending on the computer one or two the circuit breakers are located either on the overhead circuit breaker panel it means 49 vu or on the rear circuit breaker panel one to one vu all right here you can see the fact two right all right now the uh, uh, number nine rmp radio management panel okay you can see the radio management panel here right this is the active uh, frequency this is the standby frequency right you can you can see the uh, frequencies vhf1 vhf2 vhf3 right high frequency one high frequency two right am right this is the navigation vr ils ml adf bfo right all right um the radio management panel located on the center pedestal near the mcd right so this one also located center pedestal near the mcdu the radio management panels are used for nav aid standby selection all right 
now the engine warning display and the system display okay this is the engine warning display and this is the system display all right so the engine warning display and the system display are located on the main instrument panel okay the engine warning display and the system display are located on the main instrument panel so the engine warning display displays auto flight system warning messages right auto flight system uh warning messages right and the system display this is a system uh, this is a system display displays auto flight system information such as inoperative systems on the status page okay in here the status page you can see the inoperative systems uh or landing capabilities availability okay right now the uh, the last one attention getters attention getters right here you can see the master warning master portion right to land right these are the attention getters right this is the actual wave so uh, the attention getters are located on the glare shield panel on the cockpit and first of uh, sorry captain and the first officer side so the master portion and or the master warning are activated when an auto flight system disconnection occurs so the auto land warning is activated when a problem occurs during final approach in automatic landing all right okay uh, that is the uh, end of this lesson uh, all right so i think uh, you will know about a uh, lot about uh, system Uh, systems in the uh, auto fly system especially in the cockpit so uh, if you still not subscribe uh, kvision engineering channel uh, please subscribe and share these videos with your friends and also i am really uh, thank you for everyone because now my channel almost nearly 1000 subscribers so i think everyone is inter interested about my lessons so i will uh, invite uh, you to share these videos with your friends more and then uh, more people will engage with my channel and more people can get more information regarding air of maintenance engineering uh, especially so i think this is the uh, this is one and only channel you can get uh, more knowledge especially about uh, airbus uh, type training materials so uh, this is very important i think so that's why i want to share these videos uh, all right so the next lesson uh, i will uh, going to learn i will going to uh, teach you about the basic operational principle so this is also very important you can stick with the uh, the next lesson also so uh, and also i want to say i'm sorry i cannot uh, made a video within this uh, last month because i was so busy so uh, now i think i can make uh, every week so if i cannot make i'm sorry so don't don't worry i will put uh, the videos uh, upload the videos as as uh, much as i can uh, if i have free time all right so uh, again uh, thank you for participating in this lesson and see you on next lesson have a good day for all of you